Hey, what's up, coin fam? Do you have an old album like this? You're going to want to watch this video, then break out that album, because in today's video, we're talking about rare and valuable 1969 Lincoln pennies. Watch this video to learn what makes these pennies valuable and what you need to know to identify the rare 1969 pennies worth money. Let's get right into it. This is a 1969 Denver minted Lincoln cent. It was graded Mint State 65 on a scale of 1 to 70 by PCGS. This penny was certified no FG. What does that mean? FG are the initials of the designer Frank Gasparro, and they're located on the back of the 1969 Lincoln cent, or at least they're supposed to be. The FG initials are located to the right of the Lincoln Memorial on the back of the penny. What happened to the FG initials? When coins are minted, Dies are used to transfer the design onto the planchet. As time passes and coins are minted, dies deteriorate, pick up grease, and can become damaged. Sometimes dies are polished. If this polishing is a little bit too aggressive, it can result in lightning or missing features on the coin. That's what happened here to the FG. You may see different varieties where the F and G are lighter. You may see partial FG or one of the two letters may be missing. In order for your coin to qualify as a no FG penny, you can't see any part of the F or G under 5% magnification. This no FG penny sold at auction for over $500. Take a look at this 1969 San Francisco minted penny. This penny is what's called an error coin. During the minting process, something came in between the die and the planchet. The image of the foreign object was permanently imprinted onto the coin. There's no evidence of the strike-through error on the back of this penny. This penny was sold at auction for over $1,100. Some of the most valuable coins out there aren't error coins, and they don't even have to be the result of rare die varieties. They can simply just be the best grade ever discovered, and they can sell for tens of thousands of dollars. This is one of those coins. This is a 1969 San Francisco minted Lincoln cent. It graded Mint State 67 red. Pennies are designated red, brown, or red-brown. The rarest of these color grades is red. This penny is the highest grade red penny ever discovered. There are no errors, no varieties. It's just the prettiest 1969 S penny known to exist. According to PCGS, an MS67 penny is worth about $350. But when you get something like this to an auction and have wealthy men and women trying to get their hands on the best of the best, a price estimate doesn't hold much value. This penny sold at auction for over $4,400. Here's a 1969 San Francisco minted air penny. This is what's called a double die, and it's one of the most beautiful and sought after double dies in existence. A double die happens during the die making process. If the hub used to create the die isn't lined up properly with the die after the first strike, it can result in doubling of some of the features. The 1969 double die we're discussing today is really obvious. You can immediately see how the die was rotated when it was being created, and now every single coin struck with that die will result in a penny that looks just like this. You can see major doubling on the In God We Trust motto, as well as the word Liberty, the date, and also the mint mark. This penny was graded Mint State 64 on a scale from 1 to 70, and it sold at auction for $126,500. This rare variety is also extremely valuable in lower grades as well. This double die saw a bit of circulation before it was discovered. It graded about uncirculated 55, but despite the low grade, it still sold at auction for over $54,000. If you want to learn more about valuable pennies, how much they're worth, and how to identify them, click that video on the left and it'll all make sense. Thanks for watching.